of the biggest questions that I get about Bitcoin is what can you actually do with it? And there's this perception around Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies that maybe it's not real money, but that's really starting to finally change uh, slowly. And more and more service providers are getting into crypto and accepting it as a legitimate currency. So what can you buy with Bitcoin? The list is longer than you might think, and it's getting longer all the time. So today we're discussing some surprising things that you can buy with Bitcoin in the US and mostly in Canada. And that's all coming up today on Renegade News. Welcome back to Renegade News. I'm your host, Glenn Kowalski. Every week on this channel, you'll hear the latest news and strategies and tactics from breaking free from the system, paying less tax, and living anywhere in the world that you want. So let's get right into it. Lots of people refer to Bitcoin as this type of a digital gold. And most people are holding on to it for these big returns that we're seeing every year now. But eventually it's going to come down to how useful it is and how we can get this mainstream adoption. And we're already starting to get there. I mean, first of all, we already have things like jewelry and expensive watches. A number of luxury good manufacturers have begun accepting Bitcoin as a form of payment for those products. The online luxury retailer Bitdials offers Rolex, Patek Philippe, and other high-end watches in return for Bitcoin. Luxury watchmaker Frank Mueller even produced a watch encrusted with a gold and diamonds, and it contained a QR from the Bitcoin Genesis block. A few other jewelry stores have also partnered with payment processors so that they can start taking the crypto payments based on their stock in their stores as well. Next, we have pizza. And this one is awesome. I love this because one of the first or the first Bitcoin transaction to buy something was actually to buy a pizza with two Bitcoins. So that's $120,000 to $140,000 pizza right there. Well, now Domino's is trying to do it again. To order pizza from Domino's, you use your Bitcoins and you're going to go through a service called Lightning Pizza and they'll move the small portions of your cryptocurrency towards Domino's to actually make those purchases. By the way, if you're interested in learning more about Bitcoin and how it works, and you're ready to actually get started but don't know where to begin, we're offering a new workshop that will walk you through the exact steps you need to start saving, earning, and spending your Bitcoins and other cryptocurrencies. At the end of this very short and very easy to follow workshop, you're going to know exactly what to do and how to do it. And better yet, you'll have actually done all the things that I mentioned above and much more. You can learn more about this workshop in the first pinned comment. Anyway, once you learn how to get started, you're going to be ready to start using it to buy more things with it. So why not use it to furnish your house? Overstock, which is an e-commerce platform, it sells a wide variety of merchandise and they were among the first to start accepting Bitcoin. Its founder, Patrick Byrne, was an early proponent of Bitcoin. There's many other sites, though, big and small, that allow you to purchase products with Bitcoins. A couple of examples are Shopify.com and the Japanese e-commerce giant Rakuten. Home Depot is also starting to accept Bitcoin. Next, we have fast food. And yeah, okay, I'm always thinking about food. But there are fast food restaurants that are starting to let you pay with your cryptocurrency. One of those is Subway. Several locations have already started to announce that Bitcoin are being accepted over the past decade, really, in their stores. Then next, we have one of the few things, if you know me, that I think should be illegal. I hate them socks. But if you're unfortunate to live up north, you can use your Bitcoins to keep your feet warm. Mount Socks provides a full line of unique socks available for purchase using Bitcoin. And if you're in the market for a sock swap, then Unisocks Exchange lets you buy and sell socks using digital currency. All you're going to have to do is connect your digital wallet to get started. Next for you sweet tooth addicts out there is sweets. And a cryptocurrency enthusiast has created a candy dispenser that accepts payments in Bitcoin. The device, which has been called SweetBit, works by listening to incoming Bitcoin transactions through a blockchain.info and dispenses the equivalent amount of candies. I'm going to put a link to the site in the comments below so you can take a look at this thing. Of course, there's event tickets and digital transactions are where Bitcoin technology really shines and makes things easy. So it's no surprise that a variety of options for buying tickets online have opened up. These include the Oakland A's who are offering a six person suite for the price of one Bitcoin. Then there's the Dallas Mavericks, who not only allow Bitcoin payments, but they even give you a discount on the merchandise for using them. And the Miami Dolphins accept both Bitcoin and Litecoin. If you live in Manhattan, Manhattan residents can use a local company called Block Party to buy concert tickets using Bitcoin. If you're hosting your own event, there are plugins that makes it really easy to accept Bitcoin payments from your attendees. 
And then there's solutions like big tickets that facilitate transactions that take the stress off of you of even dealing with it all. And there's also something that all of us, I think, need more of, and that's vacations. And there are several airlines that are accepting Bitcoin payments now, including Cheap Air. Or you can book your flight through Expedia, which many of us already do, and that accepts Bitcoin as well. But the crypto payment opportunities don't end there. An increasing number of hotels are accepting Bitcoin, including the Kessler Group, uh, which is a US-based luxury hotel chain. And if you really want to spend your cryptocurrency, take a trip to Vegas. They have Bitcoin ATMs all over the city. And the D and the Golden Gate also accept Bitcoins as payments. Another option to spend your cryptocurrency is on electronic equipment. Several companies that primarily sell tech products accept Bitcoin on their websites. Included in those are Newegg.com, AT&T, and Microsoft. Now, Microsoft, it's important to know, only accepts Bitcoin in their online store and not on their gaming platform, Xbox. It also doesn't allow ads promoting cryptocurrency or crypto-related products on its site. So in that way, I think they're kind of hypocrites, but I'm not going to get down that road. Um, okay, so where was I? Oh, yes, cars. Some car dealerships are already accepting Bitcoin as payment. The list of dealers is starting to span a pretty broad range and encompasses the luxury dealers that sell Lamborghinis, which have been a favorite to all the early Bitcoiners. And then there's more utilitarian vehicles like Subaru. Also, of course, electronic car maker Tesla has become the biggest and the most recent name to join the list of companies that enable you to buy cars with cryptocurrency. Now, of course, they stopped for a while, I think it was a day or two, to you know, please the eco-terrorists talking about mining costs, but they are back at it again. Next, we have insurance. And for the most part, the insurance company has been pretty slow on embracing the adoption of crypto. And that's because insurance companies are really pretty conservative about anything. That's something we've actually talked about a lot is how conservative they are. But things are finally beginning to change. And while life insurance is definitely still off limits, insurance providers have begun accepting premium payments using Bitcoin in other products within their portfolio. And finally, since it's really kind of final, is funerals. And whether you choose to you know, go with burial or cremation for loved ones, funerals really are expensive. So if you've been holding on to Bitcoin for a really long time and so it's grown and you really don't know where to spend it, why not consider purchasing something that could help your family in a time of grief that's already a very stressful time? And there's at least a couple of funeral service providers that are accepting Bitcoin now as a form of payment. The first one in the U.S. was St. Paul, Minnesota's Crescent Tide Funeral and Cremation Services, and they started accepting Bitcoins back in 2014. Now, we know that Bitcoin and cryptocurrency are paving the way for a new monetary system, and it's giving ordinary people like us the ability to create our own banks and create these life-changing returns. But the market is changing really quickly. So subscribe to Renegade News right now, where every week we discuss topics like cryptocurrency, freedom, liberty, and a whole lot more. Plus, we give you tips, tactics, and strategies to break free from the system, pay less tax, and live anywhere in the world that you want right now. And also, check out the video you see on the screen right now for the latest news and strategies you need to find more freedom in this unfree world. I'm Glenn Kowalski from Renegade News, and I'll see you over there.